Hi guys, um, I am wondering if anyone can help me with a bit of a problem I've got. Um, it's regarding my gaming computer. This is a custom built gaming computer designed primarily to, primarily to run uh, Flight Simulator X, as you can see there. Uh, I built this computer around about, well, just over a year ago now, uh, and it features an i7 950. Uh, which I've overclocked stably to 4 gigahertz. Okay, it's been cooled by, uh, as you can see there, Corsair H60 water cooler, with the radiator on the back there, with two fans either side of the radi radiator on a push-pull configuration. I've then got there through the Perspex glass 12 gig of Corsair X MS3 RAM. I've got a 1 gig GTX 460 uh, graphics card. That's an Nvidia graphics card. I've got two 500 gig hard drives, just there, Western Digital Black Caviar. I've then got, um, I can't remember the exact spec, but it's a gigabyte motherboard. I, I, I can specify if needed. 750 watt power supply, uh, and just some cheap LG DVD rewriter. Um, and basically I'm having a bit of trouble because, oh sorry, it's, it's running uh, Windows Vista 64 bit off uh, a 24 inch Packard Bell monitor. Uh, and basically, I, I am having some trouble. Um, I find that it's it's performing really, really badly. When I first built this and I, I installed Flight Simulator, I was getting really, really good results. I was getting 20, 30 frames per second in dense populated city areas. This is the graphics pretty much on maximum, just under maximum on some of them. Um, and I was getting 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 frames over countryside, over the oceans, high up in the air, which is brilliant for what I want. I mean, I'm not going for the, I haven't got, obviously I haven't got the most amazing setup in the world, and I'm not going to get the, the most amazing results, but what I got when I first built it was, was adequate for me. Uh, but basically now, I'm getting really poor results. I'm over dense populated city areas, I'm getting maximum 10 results, uh, 10, sorry, uh, frames per second. Um, there's one airport I fly in and out of quite a lot on Flight Simulator, which is Manchester Airport in the UK. Um, I've got a, a freeware scenery package for this, uh, which I use, and I also use uh, a payware 767 aircraft, which is just there. And I'll basically load this flight up in the day, just to show you, um, that I get around about 9-10 frames per second. Uh, I've got fraps in the corner recording. Um, and I'll show you. I just basically want anyone that can help me um, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I should be doing, tell me what I shouldn't be doing. Ha basically, how to improve my flight simulator performance because I see other computers on YouTube that people have posted of their gameplay with much, much cheaper computers than me. Their hardware is not as good as mine, and they're getting they're getting twice, if not double, if not um, quadruple the results and the performance that I'm getting. I just don't understand how I'm getting such bad results with, you know, an intermediate setup, and where when people have got kind of base base level setups and they're getting much better results than me, I just don't understand. Uh, so it's it's loaded now, which actually has taken uh, not a lot of time because I have loaded the flight previously about five minutes before. But if this is a, a fresh turn on for my computer, and I've just loaded this up. Loading these graphics here will take a couple of minutes at least, even once it's loaded into the game. Uh, sitting here I'm getting 10 frames. If I just um, set up for takeoff, I will show you, basically, um, let's do this quickly. I will basically show you how, how what the gameplay is like as I'm rolling down the runway, which is the worst bit. Just set some flaps. So if I push this down the runway now, you should be able to see this in the uh, camera. The stuttery gameplay, it probably doesn't do any justice in the camera, but from here, looking on the monitor, I'm guessing ridiculous, ridiculous uh, stuttering. In the corner here, I'm getting seven to eight frames per second. And remember, this is an i7-950 overclocked at four gigahertz. It's been water-cooled, and they've got 12 gig of RAM, and a GTX 460 one gig graphics card. And look at that, seven frames per second. Look how jerky that is. If I try and turn, oh, it's so horrible. I mean, just look at it. The graphics are uh, brilliant, it's just the gameplay. I mean, I'll go over, because I've got, like I said, I've got a scenery package. If I kind of drift over Manchester Airport, 
I'm getting seven frames per second. And I mean, I want someone to help me if possible and tell me what I'm doing wrong, um, how to improve my performance. Because I, like I said, I see cheaper computers that would do this exact scene here with double, if not triple, the frames per second there. I mean, look at that, i7-950, four gigahertz, 12 gig of RAM, 10 frames per second. Look at it. It's just ridiculous gameplay. So if anyone could help me, I would be really, really grateful because I, it's ruining my it's ruining my game experience, obviously, and I'm just not happy. I spent a lot of money and I'm not getting the results. So I'm getting, I got these results on my old, old, old com uh, computer, which wasn't even, a, it was just a normal uh, base model desktop. You know, I've got this gaming computer now, and uh, it's just not performing well. It, it was when I first got it, but it just seems to be deteriorating. So uh, I've I've thought about reinstalling Windows um, and basically just wiping my computer clean and starting again. But it takes a lot of faff in that, and I, I don't want it to happen again. I just don't understand why it's it's performing so badly. So if uh, anyone could help me. Uh, that would be great. Post below in a comment, message me, post a video response, anything. If you want any more details on my game, my computer, settings, uh, my hardware, anything to do with my spec, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, but if, yeah, i have been really, really grateful someone could help me because um, I want to try and figure this out. So, yeah, um, please help if you can, and I shall speak to you soon. Ciao.